everybody, welcome back to our channel, Pickens Party of Five. Today, our tremor is getting some goodies. What we got is the uh, Retrax Pro XR and a Rhino Rack for on top of the tunnel cover. Really excited to get it put on. Yes, we really need this, especially for traveling to Utah. We are going to be bringing all of our mountain bikes. So now we're equipping the truck to fit our needs. So let's dig into the box and see what we have. We went with the Retrax Pro XR because it had phenomenal reviews online. Um, it's aluminum, it should last a very long time, it's lockable in any position, and it allows us to mount the bike racks or cargo racks on top of it to maximize our cargo space. Alright, so this is the top. And in this box we should have the canister along with what they're calling, I guess, the blanket for the actual tunnel cover itself. Yeah, so we're gonna try to lift this out. Just, and, yeah. Oh my gosh, hold on, I don't have a very good grip. Okay. I don't really know where to hold it. That works. So we got it out. <laughs> uh, it is pretty heavy. And we're going to read the instructions and see what they do next. All right, so in this box, this should be our side rails with the actual T-slot for the roof rack. So let's go ahead and pop this open. T-slot rails. So due to COVID, we ordered this on January 13th, and it actually arrived yesterday on March 9th. So about, what, an eight-week wait? First thing you want to do Take this hose out. This is there for storage reasons on, along the uh, shipping. And also, this clip here comes out. This bit of plastic here was actually uh, here for storage and shipping to keep everything together. Uh, it actually, you don't want to discard this just yet because it's going to be utilized later in the installation process. You want to screw in that? Sweet. I always like throwing stuff with my dad. Let's see if we can slide this out about six inches. Right there. So this is going to be used later in the installation as a one eighth inch spacer to help you align this once you get it into your truck. So don't throw these away. Next, you grab your rails. And the rails will have the logo on the outside and a screw hole. This is the part that goes near the cab of the truck and the canister. So we're going to put it here. All right, so first thing, make sure that your handle is unlocked. You can tell that by being able to push the button. Okay, so your handle is unlocked. This notice here states that, wait, that the cover may be difficult to open for the first 48 hours after installation while you break it in. We're gonna take the cover, which is actually very uh, sturdy, and we need to get these bearings into the track like that. I think that's good. So we want this to line up with this hole here, and we'll put a screw through, and I'll put another screw through here to hold the rail on. Ash, are you gonna start installing these things professionally? Yep. Yeah? How much are you gonna charge? $50. That's it? You need to up it. 200. How much are you charging daddy? Zero. Oh. One thing I should point out is a really nice piece of weather stripping here to keep the elements out. All right, so we have one side screwed up. This one's in the track. And we are gonna screw it in there. Now we need to put this into there. Lift with your legs. Don't forget that. 
Not so bad, right? Oh, you know what I said. There she goes. I can't, I don't think my arms are long enough okay, so to like go over. Okay. Okay. I can run out of space if you want to. Okay, well I gotta set it on the side. Okay, that's fine. Don't do this in flip-flops. I asked him if he read the instructions. He said, oh, I know how to do it. I watched a lot of videos, but he missed a step. Yes, it's important you put the canister cover, this piece, on before you put the whole assembly into the truck bed. Uh, I missed that, but pro tip, we'll not do that again. A total of six screws is all we need besides the clamps that hold the rails on the side. Not bad. Six screws to put this six whole screws. thing together? Whole thing, yep. Wow. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to move this into position. We'll measure it, make sure everything is lined up, and put the clamps on the rails. Yo! Put your fingers. It's important to make sure this flap here is not folded as it is right now. And then it's over the edge of the bed. So here's where the uh, spacer comes in handy. It's exactly one eighth of an inch. And you want this, the rail, to be exactly one eighth of an inch from the tailgate when it's closed. It does look good. Yep. Move on to the bed clamps. So these come pre-assembled from the factory. The rounded edge is actually going to go on the inside up here of your bed. And the grooved edge will go into the grooves here, actually between these two nylon fittings. It's a nine, uh, it's a 14 millimeter, 14. or what would that be on yours? Nine sixteenths, maybe. I'm ready. Is that nine sixteenths? Yep. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, sir. There you go. There you go. So we have the bed rails attached. Um, I think what we should do now is see if the cover actually extends or not. And if it doesn't, we can use these nylon screws here to actually adjust it and do our final, our fine tuning, final adjustments. So let's see if this works. Try it, Asher. Good night. <laughs> Sweet. Can you probably go on here? Looks nice. Yeah. So they say this is actually rated to hold up 500 pounds if it's dispersed over the whole thing. So you wouldn't want to set a 500 pound dumbbell on it, if that even exists, uh, in one location. But if you were to spread out the weight, uh, it works. And I've seen people walking on these, uh, again, spread out, but um, very nice heavy duty aluminum. Watch your fingers, buddy. This actually... This actually will lock in any position other than where these clamps are. 
So if you have some gear that's taller in the back, you can actually close it until you hit the gear and then lock it in place. So what do you think, Asher? Could you install these by yourself now? Yeah. Who, who would help you lift it up? This Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's demo closing it, make sure it works, make sure everything lines up still. Press the button to unlock it. Use the handle. Lock it into place. There we are. That is the installed cover. So the last step is to install the drain hoses. These actually go from the canister box up near the cab. Uh, and then you drill a small hole into the cap of the, um, the truck bed. We'll do that next. Um, as you can see, there's plugs down here. And we are going to put a 3 8 inch hole in each of the plugs. That way we're not damaging the bed to run this hose through. The hose will connect to a hole here and drain any water that happens to run into the canister. Looks like this was packaged and put together on March 3rd, 2021. I ordered on January 13th, uh, 2021. So you can tell that they were definitely behind on their orders. Okay, so we'll trim that from the bottom of the truck once we have the hose fully attached. This goes in here, get our turn to lock it in. Okay. So we got it installed in what, 30 minutes maybe? Probably. A total of six screws and four clamps. So super easy installation. The hardest thing was lifting it over the bed. We don't want to risk any scratches, but yeah, Mrs. Muscles over here got it done. <laughs> um, so we'll include all the part numbers and description of this uh, video. And uh, also stay tuned for the Rhino Rack install. This thing is gonna be awesome. I hope it hits all five bikes. We will be opening and installing our Rhino Rack roof rack that will go on top of the Retrex Pro XR tunnel cover. So let's open it up and see what we got. So this is a 71 inch bar. There you go. Some instructions. Oh, the tools. The tools. Do we need these? Yeah. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll keep them close by. Yeah. This insole, from what I've seen online, is very simple. It includes putting these square brackets on the bottom of here, and these will slide onto the rails, the T-slot rails. Take that back. We do need these. All right. So by opening the lock, we actually have access to an Allen key on the bottom. Okay. And also, this will actually engage or attach this to the brackets once we get those mounted on the truck. Okay. And turn it. Oops. Okay. And a lock washer. A lock washer has the brake in it. See like that? Yeah. And then we have a solid washer. Okay. Yeah. Just like that. We need eight of these setups. Good job, Maya. Okay. Eight of these setups that will go into the top of here. 
This will rest on top of the track, on the side of the truck, and this will rest inside of the track. What do you think, Kyla? Awesome. If you notice, the Allen key actually has a uh, security in it, uh, where it's a special Allen key that fits in these. Back to the plate underneath. If not, we might need to check to make sure it's lined up. All right, so we're going to make sure that we're even on both sides from the bracket to the outside. So that's two and three quarter. Ooh, that's two and one quarter. So we have to move it over one quarter of an inch. Two and a half on that side. Two and a half on this side. This on. Lock it up. Sweet. So the intention will be, once we have these mounted and aligned properly, will be to put five bike racks on. And then come by and unsnap these and take this whole rack system off as one unit. Maybe hang it on the wall, mount it to the ceiling, but it will all be together as one unit, which we can carry over and mount on the truck whenever we want to take the bikes out. Rail lock. Rock. I've never installed or touched a roof rack for that matter uh, and I was able to install this in maybe half an hour maybe a little less and open the tonneau cover which allows full access to the truck bed uh, what would you say installation easy yeah, easy. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and our fun adventures ahead.